Hello everyone, my name is Tim Hansen, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your SonicWall Gen 7 firewall. I'm going to show you how to do this using three different methods. One is going to be through the CLI or the command line interface. Number two will be through NSM, which is SonicWall's central management platform for firewalls. And then number three will be through the GUI or the good old tried, tested and true method of logging into the admin interface and pushing it out through there. If you do want to fast forward to one section over the other, you can do so by grabbing the scroll bar below or checking the video description for links to the relevant sections. With that being said, let's launch right into it. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is to, of course, get a copy of the actual firmware upgrade file that we're going to upload to our firewall. And firmware upgrade files are, of course, obtainable through your MySonicWall account. So what you want to do is go ahead and log in there now. Once you're logged in, go ahead to Workspace and then Products. And then once you've found the firewall you're looking to upgrade, click on the blue serial number to bring up the product details and then open up the firmware section like so. Firmware upgrade files are, of course, firewall model specific, so just be sure to download the file from the same model in MySonicWall that you're looking to actually apply the upgrade to. Under the firmware section, the latest firmware will be found at the top and have a .sig extension, unless you're using a virtual firewall, in which case you should have a .sig SWI extension. So moving all the way over to the right beside it, I can see two options here. One is going to be the release notes for this specific version, and then two is going to be the download button to download the actual file. So I'll go ahead and click the button here and start the download of the .sig file. Now that we have the firmware file, go ahead and log into your firewall. And then once logged in, go under device and then firmware and settings. Before you do anything, what I would recommend doing is to create a local backup. The local backup feature saves a copy of the current system state, firmware, configuration, settings, etc. on your appliance, protecting all your existing settings in the event that it becomes necessary to revert or return to a previous configuration state. And then as an added measure, I like to export the configuration settings off the box and onto my local computer, just in case something unfortunate happens to the appliance during the upgrade process. And then once that's done, go ahead and click Upload Firmware, providing the file we downloaded from my SonicWall previously, of course. And then once the upload is completed, the page will automatically refresh, and then we should see the version on the list here. If you're ready to apply the firmware upgrade to the firewall at this time, go ahead and click the little power button over here, and then select, select I should say, boot with current configuration. Just be careful to not select boot with factory default configuration, unless, of course, this is what you're actually trying to do. And then once you click through the warning, the firewall will begin the process. And once the install is done and the firewall rebooted, the page will refresh and you'll be met with the login screen again. Okay, so that's for upgrading through the firewalls UI or GUI anyways. Okay, so let's move on to the NSM process now. Once you're logged into NSM, of course, ensure you've selected the right tenant for the firewall or the firewalls you want to upgrade, and then head over to Firewalls and Inventory. If you're only upgrading the firmware for a single firewall, find the firewall on the list here, click the little hamburger under the action column, and then hit Upgrade Firmware. And as you can see here, so long as you're only upgrading a single firewall, there's no need to actually provide the firmware file. It's going to be pulled automatically from my SonicWall. All you have to do is to click the version you want to upgrade to and then schedule it for the middle of the day when everybody's working. Just kidding. Don't do that, please. <laughs> or you're going to have... 
people bashing at your door wondering what happened to the internet. So I'd recommend, of course, doing it uh, during a change management window or overnight or something similar. Okay, so now if you want to upgrade numerous firewalls simultaneously, if this is the approach you're looking to take, you'll want to first sort the firewalls based on model like here. Then under the right grouping of models, you want to upgrade, hit these three little dots and select group upgrade firmware. Select the firewalls you want to upgrade, click next. And then of course, when you're updating or upgrading multiple firewalls, you will need to provide the firmware upgrade file you've downloaded previously. So go ahead and upload that now. Okay, and then once again, you can set the date and time for the upgrade and it'll schedule it. Okay, so NSM is pretty straightforward and that's the process. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a really quick look at uh, how to upgrade the firewalls through the CLI. In order to upgrade through the CLI, we really need two things. We need to obviously have console or SSH access to the firewall, but then we also need to have our firmware upgrade file available for the firewall to download either via FTP or via SCP. Okay, so I've placed my upgrade file on a internal FTP server on my network for the purpose of this tutorial. If I had to recommend one method over the other, I'd probably recommend SCP just due to FTP being plain text, right? Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up PuTTY and SSH into my firewall. And once I'm logged in, what I wanna do is go into config mode. Okay, then I'll want to enter this nice long import firmware command. This would be the username here, and it's going to be followed by the password, and then the IP address of the FTP server. And finally, input the file name for the update file as it exists on your FTP or SCP server. Okay, and once you've pressed enter, the firewall will go ahead and start downloading the file from your server. And once it's done, we will need to enter in boot uploaded or enter in the boot uploaded command to perform the actual upgrade. There's no scheduling or time delay or anything. So once you do press enter, just be aware the firewall will perform the upgrade and reboot uh, once completed. All right, and there you have it. There's three relatively simple ways of getting your firewall up to the latest and greatest firmware version. With that being said, I'll say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.